Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about, we will see that uh, whenever you deal with JMS in MuleSoft and you use ActiveMQ server as the JMS server, so you are not able to start the ActiveMQ server. Let me show you that. What I do, I just go to my C colon, Mule4, uh, I go to my Apache ActiveMQ directory, bin folder and I go to Win64 and here I am just trying to start this ActiveMQ server. Run as administrator as this is a batch file, I am running it as an administrator. Yes and see, it is trying to start the ActiveMQ server but check it out. So you can see that it got stopped. There are a lot of exceptions, a lot of errors on the console. It got displayed. So what is the reason behind this? If you carefully look at this exception logs, you will see that here. Yeah, so from here that error got started. You can see fail to start Apache ActiveMQ because of what? illegal character in host name at index 11 okay so there is now this is my host name laptop underscore this s7 this is my host name so it is saying there is an illegal character in that host name yes so this is not the problem with active mq server but problem is with your machine on your machine your host name contains some invalid character which may be acceptable for Windows operating system, but not acceptable for ActiveMQ server. I show you that. What is my host name? Let me check it. I just go to my this PC, right click, and I say properties, and it is showing my host name is this one. So what is the invalid character, guys? This underscore, Okay, so some people they put underscore in the host name. So underscore is an invalid character for many applications, many services. Okay, so uh, this is what ActiveMQ server we are trying to start and it is not getting started. We may install it as service as well. So for example, what I can do, I can run this install service and it will appear in services. So there also it will not start. I will show you that. This is another way of ActiveMQ installation. So let me show you ActiveMQ here. Let me run this install service run as administrator. I'm running this and it will be installed as a service. If I check this, let me refresh this and you can see this ActiveMQ service got installed over here. It is automatic. Now if you try to start it, let me start it. I'm starting it and you can see that it is running but what you will see let me refresh it and after some time it will automatically get stopped you can see that it was running and now it got stopped why the reason is invalid character in your host name okay so even as a service it is not running okay so let me just come out of this and now what I'm going to do as the solution, I will go to my local host properties, this PC properties and this change setting. I will go to change setting. You can see that I'm just dragging this window to the left hand side so that you can see it properly. Here, this computer name, I'm going to do change setting. Here, I want to change this. So I will go to change. Click on change and here instead of underscore hyphen is valid character. Okay, hyphen in host name is very much valid, not underscore. Little bit weird, but that's what is the fact. Okay, let me say okay. Now I need to restart my computer. So what I do, uh, I'm, I'm restarting my computer and whenever I'll restart, I will show you that how this problem gets solved. Uh, so here you go. I restarted my machine now and let me check my uh, host name to verify that whatever change uh, I have done 
before I restart whether it is there or not. So properties, I can see that there is hyphen in my host name. There is no underscore. Perfect. Let me try to start my active MQ server. I'm going to C colon, mule four, my Apache active MQ folder, bin folder, win 64 and active MQ bat file. So let me start it as administrator. So let me check. Here you go. My ActiveMQ server is starting without any problem. Let me check whether admin console is getting open. So localhost 8161 slash admin. You can see that it is asking for username password and admin console is getting open. So it's working fine. Perfect. Now, uh, this is about command line uh, ActiveMQ server that, that is got started. Now, what I do, uh, which is installed as a service, let me check that because it was also not working, you know. That is another alternative to install the ActiveMQ server. So, I already installed it as a service, as a service. So, let me check it. Here, ActiveMQ. Now, here, it was not running really whenever I installed it right because of host name problem let me start it now and let me check whether uh, I can keep it running so let us wait for some time it was stopping last time you know it was stopping last time automatically because of that underscore in the host name problem so now it is running fine even if you refresh that it is running fine no problem okay so that's what so you install it as a service or you just run it from the command line both ways it is working fine now if you don't want this what you can do you can just stop it and you can uninstall it if you don't want this as a service you know so maybe you just run this command uninstall service and it will be removed okay because uh, we we generally start it from the command line itself. Now if you can check services, you can see that it is not running. The ActiveMQ service is not there. That got uninstalled. Got it? So underscore in the host name was the problem. Make sure there is no underscore kind of special characters in your host name. I hope this is useful for you. See you in the next video friends. Thank you and bye bye.